Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. Myself Vishal Bulbule, and in this video, we are going to see some basic details about Terraform, and we are going to create our first Terraform resource. So we'll be using a Google Cloud, and we'll create one sample resource, say a Google Storage bucket, using the Terraform. Okay, so I'll go to next slide, and we'll see what we need to create resource using the Terraform. So for creating resource using the Terraform, first we need a Terraform installation. So we already installed a Terraform in our system. And if you want to see how we can install a Terraform or set up Terraform or in Windows, you can see my previous video. So next thing is a create folder and then create Terraform configuration file, create provider block, then set up a credential and then execute a command. So we'll follow all these steps one by one. So first I'll go to my one of the folders and I'll create one folder for Terraform code. So I'll create one folder called a Terraform underscore code. Okay, and now I'll go inside this folder and I will be using a VS code for my Terraform coding. So I'll just type here cmd, I'll open a command prompt directly here and then to open VS code directly in this folder, I'll just type code space dot and enter. So it will open a VS code and it will point to this folder already. So VS code is open now. So from our step, so Terraform installation is done. Creating folder is also done. Now we'll create a Terraform configuration files and provider. So in Terraform, configuration files are always with the extension .tf. So we'll just create a file called main.tf. So you can create file with any name. Just extension should be having a tf. I'll just create main.tf. So once I type tf, it will give you a Terraform symbol. Just enter. Just close this release note. Okay. Now what we need to add, we need to add a provider block. So what is mean by provider? So as we discussed in last video so provider will be like a google for our google cloud resources provider will be aws if you are creating aws resources so on which platform you have to create resources we need to declare that provider so how we can declare a provider so i'll just follow the documentation so google cloud terraform i will type here and i will go to hashicorp official documentation okay so here is hashicorp documentation So here provider block, I'll just copy paste or I'll simply type provider Google. So that's enough if we are not mentioning project or region. But another thing we need to mention is a credential. So why we need a credential? So why we are using Terraform? We are using Terraform to create resources using the configuration file instead of creating using the cloud console. Now suppose if you want to create resources using the cloud console, you have to log in into your Google Cloud using your Gmail ID and password. But what Terraform will use to authenticate with the Google Cloud? So for that, it will need a credential. So for Terraform to interact with a Google Cloud, we'll use a service account. So we'll go to service account we'll create one service account so i'll go to iam i'll go to service account i'll create service account with unnecessary permission so the service account should have permission to create resources which resource we are creating we'll just create service account i'll give the name terraform create and continue a role i'll just give editor role because i just don't want to face any permission issue at this stage i'll give editor roles which is sufficient to create resources or a storage bucket 
so let me see okay so once uh, this is created i need to download the keys so this keys will be used for authentication so here click on add key create new key and i'll download a json so it will download one file here you could see in downloaded a json so i'll go to this file and i will just copy this and i will paste this in our terraform code folder and i'll rename this as a key i just want to use this as a key so this is a key.json now i can use credential block here so credential is equal to in double quote i can give the path so as i am in the same folder so i can simply put key dot json okay i will simply write a project name in my resource block not here if i am not mentioning in the resource block it will take default from the provider block so that is what we have in our first three steps so let me go back here so create folder create terraform configuration file create provider credential execute command so we still missing this terraform configuration file so we created but we didn't create any resource so we'll see how we can create a storage bucket so simply type here storage bucket so it will give you enough documentation so that is the good thing about hashicorp or terraform so i can simply copy paste the code from here or i can write by my own so i simply type resource so it will give me option so i'll just like google storage bucket name will be i'll just give terraform test so this is the name of my this local block or a module so i'm not giving this name to the bucket so here i have to give the name now so name so what are the argument we need in this resource storage bucket so that you can check in a documentation so these are the argument which are required so name and locations are required so name i'll just give bkt gcp dev hyphen tf 000 i just want to give a unique name and location So what was here location it is required we'll just give location we'll simply put us okay so this will be enough if we are giving project name here but if we are not giving then we have to mention so i'll just mention project gcp p so this is my google cloud project so this is my google cloud project id so here you could see the id gcp d okay now i'll go to my storage bucket okay so here is no bucket name a uh, bkt gcp dev terraform okay so we'll see now we'll go to terminal and we'll try to execute a command so there are basic three commands are most commonly used in terraform that are terraform eat terraform plan and a terraform apply so its terminal is taking time to open Okay, it's open now. So always remember we have to execute this command where your Terraform files are present. So you have to execute in your Terraform code folder. So I'll first now see here currently only two files are there key.json and main.tm. So once I execute first command that is Terraform init. Okay, so first I want to see if Terraform is installed. So just to show you which version is installed. okay so i misspelled it so it should be 
terraform hyphen hyphen over there okay so it is having version 1.3.6 now i'll just execute first command that is terraform init so what init will do init will check your provider so provider is google and it will try to install and download all required file for this google provider you can see a plugin file so let me do terraform init and enter so let's see installing hash for google with version 4.45.0 so this is provider plugin so it will install this plugin files so we'll wait for it okay now you could see installed hashicorp google plugin and terraform has successfully initialized and once it is initialized you could see it created here a dot terraform folder and one log.hcl file so this will contain your all required plugin files and this log.hcl file will include the provider information so here you could see it will include your provider information and version so version 4.45.0 and google so now if i execute the terraform init again it will not uh, download this plugin files again so let me show you that okay let me clear it let me open new terminal this is not working as expected here system is getting stuck okay so now let me execute terraform init again it will only check this log file and it will not install a plugin files again so initialize backend reusing the previous version from the dependency log file so this is dependency log file terraform.log.hcl is a dependency log file if i delete this file it will try to so if i suppose delete this file and if i delete this also and run terraform init again now it will install a plugins again We'll wait for a few seconds. And it installed these plugin files again. Now we have plugins available here. Terraform init we have executed. Now we'll execute a Terraform plan. And just keep eye on this left side pane where all files are available and see if there is any new files getting added. Okay, so one file is added there, Terraform plan. Uh, after executing Terraform plan, one file is added here. You could see that file. Let me execute again. You could see one TF state file here. Okay, and just disappeared. Okay, now we'll see about that TF state file later. First, check the plan. So once you executed the plan, plan will show what all, all resources are going to create once we execute a Terraform apply. So you could see this storage bucket will be created with the name bktgcpdev-tf000. Location will be US and storage class will be standard. So this bucket will be getting created. Now we'll do a Terraform apply. So Terraform apply is actual deployment or actual creation of 
infrastructure what we are written in our configuration file now if I do terraform apply it will ask for a confirmation so you have to type yes okay. here you have to type yes and then it will create a storage bucket so I will go here currently here is no bucket with the name well we wait for code to complete resource added one now let me refresh you could see this bucket is created now bkt gcp dev tf00 and again we could see one terraform tf state file is created so this tf state file will contain the state of the resources created using the terraform so if you go to the state file so it will contain the resources so in this resources block you will see storage bucket with the name block name tf test provider glucose bucket id and all details are mentioned here so suppose if now i want to do terraform plan again so it will just return no changes because it will read the state file refreshing state it will read the state file and it will check okay storage bucket is already there and no changes are required so it will not create that bucket again so that's why we are having state file here and it is important in terraform to manage the state so we'll see in details how we can manage the terraform state so we'll coming back to again this credential so what happen if we comment this credential so as i said we comment it hope i don't have my default credentials available here so it should throw an error You could see attempted to load default credential since neither credential nor access token was set to provider block so this is an error because of there is no credential and if I remove it and I can execute terraform plan again it will execute perfectly fine so in this way we can create a first resource using the terraform in a Google Cloud now we want to destroy this resource which we created using the terraform so support this bucket we want to destroy now so bkt gcp dev tf00 or whatever resources we created using terraform we want to destroy that resources so for that we can use a command terraform destroy okay so it will show us the details what resources will be destroyed and I can just type yes and resource is destroyed let me go back and check so bucket is still there let me refresh okay it removed so in this way we can write our configuration file with a required resource code and deploy our infrastructure using the terraform so we'll see more in terraform and all in-depth videos on the terraform state file terraform provider and all other parameters so thank you for watching this video